The Path of Neo is a tragic tale. It's easy to lose sight of the fact that The Matrix is a story of a man who wants to wake up from his sad life as Thomas Anderson. Many people tend to get lost in the visual effects and miss the movie's deep philosophical ideas about the human soul trapped inside a digital prison. But behind the battle against machines and simulations, there is a tale of a broken man who simply tries to pick up the pieces of what he believed to be his life in each simulation. Thomas Anderson's story is of a prisoner trapped in a virtual limbo. So today we are going to take a closer look at the sad story of Neo, the savior in pain. Welcome to Matrix Explained. Thomas Anderson in the first movie was a young rebellious computer nerd, a stereotype of what hackers were like in the 90s. He was a seeker of truth who lived an isolated life, but Thomas was special and so he caught the attention of a notorious cyber terrorism group, hackers dedicated to attacking major government systems. This group was looking for a savior who would free humanity. Neo was simply looking for an escape. That strong desire to be responsible for his actions and to be able to escape the system that has oppressed him were the motivators for Thomas's character from the beginning. Do you believe in fate? Yeah. No. Why not? Because I don't like the idea that I'm not in control of my life. In the original Matrix trilogy, Thomas fights against destiny, first rebelling against the Matrix system and then turning his back on his destiny as a savior by choosing Trinity over humanity. You'll remember you don't believe in any of this fate crap. Neo thought that he could defeat the machines and break predestination, but his purpose superseded his choices because choice had always been an illusion. From the first moment Neo took the red pill to the moment he fought Agent Smith, he was always fighting against destiny. Then something changed. In the final moments of his fight against Smith, Neo realized that all circumstances led him to this moment, to the revelation that he never had a choice. Everything was inevitable. Neo's sacrifice seemed like a personal choice, his final act as the prophesied savior, but what it meant was his surrender to inevitability. Neo finally understood that there was a greater plan at work, beyond his choices. The greater plan was orchestrated by the Oracle. We're all here to do what we're all here to do. Amid the power struggle, the Oracle emerged victorious, but Neo's soul was once again trapped in this digital prison. Neo's body was taken by the analyst and he is put back into another simulation where he is subjected to emotional suffering worse than what he went through in his past life. His reward for his sacrifice was to be reborn in a new level of hell. Thomas Anderson spent 60 years subjected to cycles where he constantly lost the only woman he ever loved. The pain of being away from Trinity teetered him onto the verge of madness where intruding memories of his past life tormented him. Once again, Neo is trapped between planes that escape his understanding. Previously, the Architect and the Oracle were the major instigators and perpetuators of the war that Neo was forced to be a part of. Now, the suits, Io, Niobe, Sati, the Merovingian, and many other players are waging a new war that is beyond Neo's purpose. Neo manages to escape the simulation again, but it seems that he has forgotten the most important fact about the Matrix, and that is that choice is an illusion. Tom Anderson in Matrix Resurrections has been consumed by grief of losing the woman he loved. Even the new version of Smith notices that Neo has changed. Trust me, you're not ready for it. At the end of Matrix Resurrections, it seemed that Neo regained control of his life. Although in reality, we see how he and Trinity are following a similar path, but in a new film. Neo doesn't seem to care if choice is an illusion, since he is with Trinity again. He is no longer fighting against destiny. He doesn't care if he is the savior. He only cares that he is with the woman he loves. But how long will they stay together? Is their union part of a larger plan of the Matrix? And here is perhaps the saddest thing about this character's story. Neo's story may be doomed to repeat itself indefinitely, because he is part of the Matrix cycle.
Neo is the embodiment of humanity trying to wake up from the system. He is the revolution. Neo is not only the sum of all humanity's hopes and desires, he is also the manifestation of their fears. The anomaly will always be part of the Matrix. It is the human condition, condemned to repeat history because it never learns from the past. These types of conditions can be seen in nations where societies ignore and or forget events of the past and elect to maintain the status quo, whether that being re-electing corrupt politicians or continuing to support dangerous beliefs or social movements. As the old philosophy goes, those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it. Neo prefers to believe in his happy ending with Trinity, without understanding or acknowledging that he is part of the system. But even more disturbing is that at the end of Matrix Resurrections, Neo has recovered his memories, but chooses to believe that this time things will be different. You don't give a shit about facts, it's all about fiction. The only world that matters is the one in here. And you people believe the craziest shit. Why? What validates and makes your fictions real? Feelings. In retrospect, Neo's tale is a tragedy. It is a metaphor for the human condition. And this story is not yet over. With the announcement of Matrix 5, we may see new cycles of the simulation, where the fight for freedom and the illusion of choice continues. But do you agree? Is Neo's story the tale of a tragic hero? Are we as humans doomed to always repeat the mistakes of our past? Do you feel not like yourself? Has depression led you to question reality? Do you have an extreme desire to jump off a building? You may be suffering from a strange neurological condition caused by an imbalance in the brain known as VDTs. Folly Bridge has the solution for you. Introducing Ontalofloxin the world's first and only blue pill you will ever need to start your day right and simply forget all your troubles, literally. Ask your doctor about Entalafloxin today and join the millions living in blissful ignorance. Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe, and thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.